All right, Rockport, back again with another Christmas book video for you, Mr. Hunts Reads, and we have another guest coming in for us. This one, Mayor Gay Ann Hardy, is coming in to read a great Christmas book, Bad Kitty Christmas. I hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Mayor Gay Ann Harney, and I'm currently the mayor of Rockport until December the 31st, and I'd like to read you a book, and this is called Bad Kitty Christmas. "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the city. Not a creature was stirring. Bam, crash, kaboom. Except for a bad kitty. Look at that. This is a bad kitty Christmas. And the book's written by Nick Burrell. How did she get here? You may ask yourself. It's a very long story. I'll tell you myself. That page? First thing this morning, I awoke to a clatter. I ran down the stairs and asked, what is the matter? That's when I found a kitty in the midst of a caper. She torn through the gifts and it was covered in paper. There's that one here, and there's the bad kitty. The angel was ambushed. The books were all bumped. The cards were all crushed, and the drums were all dumped. The eggnog was ended. The fruitcake was flung. The gifts were all gutted, and the holly was unhung. There it all is there. Everything that bad kitty did. Can you believe that? The icicles injured. The jingle bells jumped. The Kris Kingle was kicked. And the lights were all lumped. And that's that. That's the icicles injured. The jingle bells jumped. The Kris Kringle was kicked. And there's the lights all in a great big old lump. The manger was mauled. The nutcracker nailed. The ornaments ousted. And the ponzetta held. So you've got this here. So you've got the angel, the nutcracker that was nailed, the ornaments that were ousted, and the ponzettas that held. The quiet was quashed, the ribbons ripped up, the stars was sent strolling, and the tree was tripped up. There's your quiet being quashed by a bugle there, and the ribbons ripped up, and the star that was sent squirreling down the toilet, it looks like. And then here's the tree that was tripped up. The unicorn uglied, Vixen was vexed. The wreath looked like wretched, and the xyphone exed. And you've got all this. You have a unicorn uglied, and the vixen being vexed, the wreath being wretched, and the xyphone being exed. Right there. Can you see? Your yule time looked yucky. My zeal had been zapped. When I found the kitty in the shreds where she napped. Oh, kitty, bad kitty, I'm filled with distress. You've run to our Christmas. Just look at this mess. And here's that great big mess that that kitty did. Look at that. Look at all that mess. All the presents and all were for you. Why did you do that? And the kitty said, Mew. Thought there were presents and bundles and boxes galore. Kitty was angry. She wanted more, and she wanted an ape and a bear and a comrit dish, a duck and an eagle baked with a fish, an echo, a horse, an abyss and a jackal, a kiwi and a lion, and a soup with a mackerel. 
you can see that there. Those are those three things. A narwhal and an owl and a penguin on rye, a quetzal, a rapple, and a seahorse in a pie, a toad and a urchin, a vole and a well, a xyrus and a yak filled with zebra tail. So that's what that is there. Those are a lot of strange words, aren't they? That does it. I've had it. Just look at this place. I don't care if you're mad, Kitty. You're a disgrace. I've never known someone so selfish and greedy till the season, you know, to give to the needy. I'd better start cleaning. What will you do? Do you feel like helping? And Kitty said, meow. There's a kitty being disciplined right there. See that? She was still miffed when she packed up to go on an afternoon, an afternoon trip in the Christmas Eve snow. As we left for the city to see Uncle Murray, the window was open and she left in a hurry. And then there's that page. See, the window was open and it looks like she jumped out the window or something. Oh, kitty, dear kitty, don't go. You must stay. We shouted and cried as she ran away, but still she abandoned us right there and then. We thought that we'd never see Kitty again. Oops, I'll show you that page. Look at that one. Nice bright color, isn't it? <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas and out on the streets, I saw a little black kitty with little wet feet. And that's that picture right there. <clears throat> She sat in the alley, a path dark and scary. She didn't look jolly. She didn't look merry. That's that one there. She looked so alone. She sat there and pondered as if she was lost and unsure where she'd wondered. That's there. Then she began to meow and bellow and cried for a while until I said, and here she is going meow, 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 meow. Until I said, Hello. There. What do we have here? A little black cat? Don't you have a home? Let's look into that. And then that's that person talking to the little kitty, asking her if she has a home. Do you like oak trees? The one on the shelf? Did you know I adorned it all by myself? What's that one there? You don't see any tinsel, not even one light. It only has photos. They're all black and white. Showing the kitty the, cat, the tree. Come sit with me, cat, and let me show you all the folk in my life and the people I knew. See that? Showing the kitty cat pictures. Here's my Aunt Agnes with my brother Bobby, my dear cousin Clancy, and his daughter Dottie. That's Edgar and Elder with my father Frank next to my grandmother, Gail, and my husband, Hank. See, and here's the pictures that she's showing the kitty cat. Isn't that sweet? These are my in-laws, Ike and Loanna, with their two juveniles, John and Johanna. They each had a kid, Kenra and Ken, and the lineage goes on with Lorenda and Lynn. Here's my mother, Marge, and her lovely niece, Nan, with her offspring, Oscar, and her partner, Pam. And here's that one. Showing these pictures here. Black and white photographs. That's Quinn on the quilt, a family heirloom. He's related to Robert, who hails from Kazoom. That's my sister, Sophie, and her twins, Tina and Todd, with my dear Uncle Upton, who has had a nose that was odd. See, that's his nose. It is kind of an odd nose there and the twins. That's Varsha, my friend. She's Walter's wife and she's, and he is my son. So that's her son and that's his wife there. You see them all? All the pictures. This last one's my favorite. It's the whole silly game. At Christmas reunion, we'll be laughed and we sang. We met in New York near the end of December. I wrote on the picture so I'd always remember. 
on Here Says Xmas 1962. We're spending our Yule at the Central Park Zoo. See, that's her and her whole family at Christmas 1962. The cat looked entranced while I patted her fur as she stared at each picture before there before her. You should know, cat, that I'm quite content with only this tree that looks slightly bent. I may not have jewels or a car or a yacht, but I still have my memories, and that's quite a lot. You see that? All of her memories. That's what she has. Little cat, this is what Christmas should be. It's not about stuff and a big spending spree. It's not about presents all over the place. It's not about food or stuffing your face. Like Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and, and you see, Christmas is all about. There's that picture. Christmas is all about family. Home is where the heart is. That's what they say. So I'll bet your poor heart feels miles away. Don't fret, little cat. Wipe off that tear. If we can't find your home, then you can stay here. But I could tell she was homesick and wanted more. And that's when we heard a scratch at the door. Uh-oh. See that puppy had been following her around. See that little puppy? Following the kitty cat, trying to find the kitty cat, bring him home. There's the doggy. There's the doggy. Saying, hey, I've come here to get my kitty cat, right? There's someone to see you. You're lucky, black cat. I think he knows where your home is at. Like a furry black flash, she threw through the door. She was moving so fast, she didn't touch the floor. So I guess you'll be leaving, I said with a sigh. I'm so glad I met you. Tell your folks I said hi. There she is. See that? Bad kitty's leaving her home. I sat in my chair and I put a tree in my lap and settled myself for a long winter's nap. I was happy to know she had a home of her own. Too bad I'd be spending Christmas alone. Oh, there she is in the window right there. But just when I started to slumber and snore, again I heard scratching at my front door. This cat had come back. She had something to do. What do you want, kitty? And the kitty said, Meow. Two. Right there. Did the kitty cat go meow, two? It was the night before Christmas. We were filled with regrets as we sat in our seats, missing our pets. Right there. The house seemed so empty without them around. I wished and I hoped that they both would be safe and sound. Then into the door, there arose such a knock. I sprang from my chair from the sudden shock. Then what to my wondering eyes should appear but kitty and puppy and the lady most dear. They're on the door. They're home, they're home. Christmas is saved. Welcome home, kitty. I hoped you behaved. <clears throat> and thank you, dear lady, for bringing them back. I hope that you'll stay for a late Christmas snack. And that's her getting the late Christmas snack right there. And she did, don't you know? In fact, she moved in. Some friends are like family, and she became kin. Up there's her photo. It's high on the tree, wrapped snug in the branches for all to see. There she is, her Christmas photo in their tree. So Kitty is home now. I think that she'd stay. She's gone off to bed to end this long day. See that, the doggy there. The story is over. 
Now that's, everything's right. Merry Christmas to all. Let's see, Merry Christmas to all. And to all a very good night. Very good night. Well, I hope you enjoyed the book, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And I enjoyed reading to you, and I hope you guys enjoy reading to yourselves. It's very important to read and uh, to get these words in your head and to know what they mean and just to use that knowledge. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.